it was a dream to come to New York. It was a dream to practice here. Or well, it is a dream. And um, that's why I'm passionate about what I'm doing. It breaks my heart. Everything suddenly becomes an apocalypse. It was scary. It is scary. All New Yorkers working right now, all essential workers deserve personal protective equipment. Essential workers across New York City are yeah. dying. At some point, I just step out of the ICU and I'm just like, I took off my PPEs, take everything carefully. I just bend down. I'm like, how long am I going to go on with this? And it's the same thing across board for all the doctor care. If I don't come out smiling, if I don't smile, I'm going to, I don't know. More of our co workers will die. And when they die, the chain is broken. I think this is a test of um, how mental, mentally resilient we are as doctors. Like, you, you would break down if you are not, if you don't find a positive, if you don't know how to cope in situations like this. We have to call families, like I said, every time. Like, the number of bad news I've delivered in this, in this period where you deliver this amount of bad news like over the spirit. So imagine every time having to call and say, hey, I'm sorry, you lost your son. I'm sorry, you lost your father. I, my understanding of this is different as a doctor. From people out there think you get it, you're dead. In fact, when I got better, when everything had cleared and everything was fine, and I called my mom, I'm like, hey, mom, did you know at some point I got the coronavirus? She lost it. Beautiful day. This, this is like wildfire. It goes around and it kills, you know. And people ask me, should I take lime? Should I take hot water? Should I take tea? Will this help me? And stuff like that. And I'm like, hey, I don't know if it works or does not work. I believe that whatever is going to make you, whether faith, whether uh, exercise, whether diet, whatever you think would give you that effect that would make you think you can fight this, you should do it. It's a disease that we are trying to understand because we are learning about the facts. We don't have enough facts. And I personally, in my own faith of belief, I believe where facts fail or where facts stops is where God begins. <laughs>